Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I think that this would be a good time to kind of do an update on the experimental sculpture that I made out of the new recipe uh, paper cement clay. It's a, a version of the paper mache clay recipe that we use all the time for inside projects, but it was originally developed quite a long time ago <laughs> by our friend Warren Eggleston uh, down in Australia, and I just finally got around to trying it um, back in July of 2022. And I love working with it. And I immediately made this toad uh, and put him outside just to see how long a, a the paper cement clay would last outside in Minnesota weather. It's now been outside for four months, uh, rain, and now snow, and it's really cold outside. <laughs> so let's go see how he's doing. I hope that you'll forgive the shakiness of my camera. It's 11 degrees Fahrenheit right now. <laughs> And I think you can understand why I'm going to do this really fast and go back in the house. Um, I turned it over here and kind of tapped on it to see if it was um, still hard underneath. And then I realized, since it's 11 degrees Fahrenheit, that it probably would be hard anyway. <laughs> But I did check that uh, before it started freezing and it was really hard. There are no soft spots in it at all. There are no cracks in it at all. The finish of the, the paint and the varnish are still in perfect shape. So as of now, uh, in November of 2022, it is still doing just fine. Now you saw that uh, Mr. Toad was sitting on my dad's bench right now, right next to Mr. Gnome, who's been outside for three or four years. So the products that I use for the Gnome are not experimental at all. Um, he's holding up just fine. But there are several reasons why I never actually made Mrs. Gnome <laughs> or any other outdoor sculpture using the same materials. Uh, the first one is just that the waterproof grout that I use for his for his outfit and you know his hat and, and his clothes it just isn't very smooth you can't really um it, is, it doesn't feel like something you're sculpting with i mean it went fine i mean it, i could smooth it on over the armature just fine but i just didn't feel that i was going to be able to get the same that uh, kind of detail that i needed for the face and for that i used epoxy clay i love using epoxy clay and it can go outside, it's totally waterproof, you can make all kinds of stuff with it, but it's really expensive. The materials that go into paper cement clay are a lot less expensive. And when I was making Mr. Toad, it was obvious that I could get just as much detail as I was able to get with uh, the epoxy clay. I also uh, felt that the, uh, the waterproof grout that I used didn't have any structural strength unless I put some plaster cloth under it. Uh, the the fibers in the plaster cloth would reinforce it, and the the um, the grout stuck to it really nice, and that made a really strong shell for the gnome. But I I would like to be able to make some things that don't require plaster cloth. I like using it, but again, it's expensive. Now, if you do decide that you want to make a, a, a an outdoor sculpture using the products that I use for the gnome, be sure to also watch the uh, video on painting the, the toad because the, the paint and varnish on the gnome really didn't work. I'm not really sure why, but the products that I chose to paint it and varnish it cracked and, and got really weird really fast. The matte clear enamel that I used on the toad right on top of some acrylic paint, that looks great. I mean, you saw the toad in the video. Um, it hasn't changed since I put it out there. It's not really shiny, but it's got just a little bit of a like a glaze over it. So this, I, I do recommend using this instead of whatever it was that I used on the gnome because that didn't work so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hoping that the toad will survive the winter because I've got a whole lot of projects that I want to do. The first one is a, a series of like fake rocks, kind of big, with faces on them. But I don't want to spend time making them and then put them outside without knowing for absolutely for sure they're going to survive out there. So I, I really got my fingers crossed. I'm really hoping Toad makes it. I'll put videos down below for the gnome in case you want to go ahead and make something using those products now because that's not experimental. And I'll also put links to the recipes for the paper cement clay in, in, in case you'd like to do some experiments with it. 
I know a lot of people are already experimenting with it. If you'd like to do that too, uh, go ahead and, and check that link that's down in the description. And I'll also put links to uh, the Toad sculpting series because he was really fun to make. <laughs> and you can make him out of paper mache clay and keep him in the house if you want to. He's kind of cute. <laughs> I really like that little guy. Go click on those links and check out those videos. Be sure to watch for the update on Mr. Toad so we can find out if he uh, survives the whole entire winter. And in the meantime, come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.